Hey everybody, Justin here for another episode of Marvel Champions. We're trying something new today. We got Scott Lang, otherwise known as Ant-Man, otherwise known as Paul Rudd. Uh, his uh, response is, time to unwind. After you change this form, heal one damage from Scott Lang. And he's got a giant form, which is after you change this form, deal one damage to an enemy. And a baby form, after you change this form, remove one threat from a scheme. Sounds fun. Uh, I'm playing a deck that I found on Champions, uh, the Marvel Champions DB, the, the database. You know, like Arkham DB, but Marvel or like whatever it is. Uh, and uh, I'm still at that point where I'm trying to discover what makes a deck click. So I want to, I put them, I'm putting the link to that deck in the description of this video. So if you want to check it out, it looks really cool. There's a great write up, there's a great video as well to watch it and kind of see what this deck's all about because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to run it to peak efficiency. Like, I, well, we might do fine. But we're going to see what's up. We are going up against a whole new hero. Uh, no, a whole new villain, sorry, which is Drang. You know him. You love him. He is the Brotherhood of Badoon. After Drang's schemes resolve the Badoon ship's charge-up ability. Which is charge-up. Special. Place one barrage counter here. Then if there are four more barrage counters here, deal two indirect damage to each player and remove all barrage counters from here. Uh, we also get to start with the Milano support in play, but otherwise everything is set up. Uh, terrestrial Invasion. Drang's overwhelming forces have mounted a surprise attack against Earth. So Ant-Man says, worry not, I am Ant-Man. Forced Response. After resolving Step 1 of the Villain Phase, resolve the Badoon ship's charge up ability, and we can exhaust the Milano to remove 3 threat from this scheme. The Milano uh, gives us a wild resource, and also, as you can see, has other effects. This guy has 13 health for the first wave. Why don't we dive in? And see what our opening mulligan is of six cards. Okay, the guide said you want the helmet. <laughs> um, so we want the helmet. We want the helmet. Oh, this is actually kind of huge, TBH. It's a hero action. Alright, so the helmet is after you change the giant form, heal two damage from your hero. And after you change to tiny form, you draw a card. Resize is change to your other hero form and draw one card. And then we got the Pim Cardicles. After you spend this card, heal two damage from your hero if you're in giant hero form. Or draw one card if you're in tiny hero form. Giant Stomp, play only if you're in giant form. Deal one damage to each minion and deal eight damage to an enemy. This is our finisher. We're going to probably mulligan this. Smash the problem, exhaust your hero to remove threat from a scheme equal to your hero's attack. Also really good, but probably not needed on the first turn. And then max, uh, ready to rumble, play under any player's, player's control, max one per player. After you change form, discard this card and ready your hero. So I'm going to burn these ones because I have a plan for these other three cards. And if Justin has a plan, you know things are spicy. Oh, sure, I'll take more of them. <laughs> Don't worry, I got it. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go into giant form right off the bat. Um, yeah, giant form right off the bat. And then we're going to hit, oh, sorry, when we change into giant form, we change, deal one damage to an enemy. So we're going to deal one damage to Drang. I'm then going to attack him for three. We're going to generate one, two, three. Actually, you know, we're gonna keep this, we're gonna get rid of that one. And we're going to play our helmet. So after we change to giant form, we heal two damage. And after we change to tiny form, we get to draw a card. I'm gonna play this resize, which we're gonna to use to shrink down into tiny form. This allows us to draw a card. And then after we change into tiny form, we draw a card. Okay, these are nice things to start with here. Alright, so I'm going to spend the Pim Particles and this Spider Girl to play my boy Bug. After your hero makes a basic attack, we heal a damage from Bug. Uh, we get a draw card. We're hoping for a red card. That genius... I mean, that genius is going to help us out next turn, and we do get to draw three more cards. We might get rid of this power of aggression, because I think the genius is just better, and we really don't need more of them. I'm going to finish this turn by just removing a threat from the scheme. 
All right, I am going to discard this, and then we will draw four cards. Could have kept that, but that's okay. Hero action. If you're in giant hero form, spend Fist Fist to stun an enemy. If you're in tiny hero form, spend Lightning Lightning to confuse an enemy. All right. We'll ready everything. Uh, we will put two here, and we will put a barrage counter on this, but there needs to be four for this to matter. This guy's going to attack us for two. We're just going to let it come in. So he's attacking for two. If this activation is attacked, this card gets plus two boost icons for the activation. That's a pretty nice uh, effect. I think that's very good design. And then let's see our evil card. Badoon Assassin. After Bassoon, uh, Badoon Assassin engages your hero, it attacks you with plus two attack. I'll take three. I'm not too worried about it right now. Maybe that is the wrong choice, but it is the choice I am happy to make. Okay. All right, well. I'm going to spend one and two to play the Quinn Carrier. And then we're going to go one, two, three to play Brawn. We can then switch into Giant form. After we change this form, we deal one damage to an enemy. So we kill this guy. And then after we change into Giant form, we heal two damage. So that's pretty good. That's pretty nice. We're going to do a basic attack against Drang. And after your hero makes a basic attack, we will heal one damage from Bug. Good job, Bug. We're very proud of you. Everyone loves you. And then... I mean, I'm going to thwart. Brawn is going to attack... And then after, so he's going to attack Drang. And then after he attacks, we get to remove a threat from a scheme. What this does is this leaves this in Milano mode for if we ever get to the point where we can just easily clear that out. All right, well, we'll draw four cards. Okay. Surprise attack. After you change form, deal three damage to an enemy, four damage instead if you paid for this using only a fist resource. Army of Ants, if you're in tiny hero form, exhaust Army of Ants to deal one damage to an enemy. And then the Giant Stomp, which uh, we do be big, but the only downside is our other one is in here. Which means if we want to use this, this would be the time to use this. I mean, like, we also can get there this turn. We can get there. Okay. Everybody readies. This goes up to three. We put a Barrage counter. This guy's going to attack. I'm going to let it come through still. I don't think he can deal seven damage to me. All right, give the villain a tough status card. If the villain already has a tough status card, this gets plus two. So this just deals three damage. Which is not nothing. It's not nothing. Okay, and then this comes up here. Our evil card is... Badoon Sentry. Okay. What is the best way of going about this? So we can deal three damage to this guy. We can then use this if we switch to deal an extra damage. What's our recovery? It's three, so pretty standard, pretty standard. We will take one damage. We're gonna go to three. 
But we have blockers in the form of bug. So like bug can defend for us this next turn. So yeah, we'll deal three to this guy. Which deals one to us. That's going to heal bug. Oh, we can't. I mean, I think we just keep the stomp. We can't get the stomp this turn. And that's going to probably just going to have to be okay. All right, we're going to switch into tiny form. Dee -dee -dee -dee. After we change this form, remove one threat from a scheme. We have to be very aware of this uh, barrage coming up because that could come at any time. We probably need to be a little bit less cavalier about how much health we have. All right, and then after we change to tiny form, we draw a card. Ooh. Does that change things? Oh, sorry, we changed into this. We also wanted to do this thing, right? But I guess we're not going to now. I don't know what the order of operations is for when I can... Because I'm doing all my forced, right? So I guess it actually... So this is a response. This is a response. I imagine I get to choose the order they are. So I think what we are going to do is I am going to use this to deal four damage to Drang. Sorry. To this guy. Just because... He has the tough. Okay. So now what we do is we send in Bug to get rid of the tough. Thank you, buddy. Um, I can play Wasp, which seems good. So we'll remove two threat from a scheme. And then honestly, she can drop... Uh, a damage onto Drang. Okay. And then I think we stop here. So, we're going to draw four cards, because we want to keep the stomp. Oh, that's good. That's good. I assume with the team up, we need to have both of them in play. The cards that are named. That's what I assume that this card means. Alright, so. Everybody readies. This gets two. And we get this. This guy's going to attack, and Bug is going to defend. Bug down. Rest in peace, you beautiful bug. <laughs> Alright, we get our evil card. Special delivery. Del delivery. You may exhaust the Milano. If you do not, the villain attacks you with plus one attack. I'll exhaust the Milano. That seems pretty fine. Especially considering what this hand actually is. Okay. How much health do you have? You have three. Okay. So what I'm going to do is we're going to start with a swarm tactics using these PIM particles. Which gives us a draw. Okay. Uh, so we change to our other hero form and then we... Oh, we ready our hero. One second. We're taking this back. Thinking. This changes things. You should not be here. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm missing a card? <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm missing a card? I should have five cards, right? Where did one of them go? Am I just going crazy? Here it is. I'm not going crazy. It was literally just floating in the ether. As cards often do. Okay. Alright, so let's say... 
I mean, let's say we attack for one. Let's say we bring in Wasp for the other damage. So we beat this stage. When revealed, if Drang Spear is in play, give Drang one face down boost card. Otherwise, search the encounter deck and discard pile for Drang Spear. Reveal it and shuffle the encounter deck. Drang's! Oh, his fabled spear! Uh, Drang gains stal stalwart. He cannot be stunned or confused. Spend. Bup, 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 bup. Uh, light a uh, science fist fist. Discard this card. Okay. So then we exhaust Quinn Carrier to play Swarm Tactics. We change to our other hero form, Giant. After we change this form, we deal one damage to an enemy. Sorry, Drang. Sucks to suck. Sky attacks are four now. That's, that's not nothing. Uh, and then after we change this form, we heal two damage from our hero. Oh no, sorry, I wanted to play for that with this, because then we also drew a card. Yeah, that's what we wanted. Alright, now we're good, okay. So, we ready it. So now we're sitting on three. We dealt the one damage. We're sitting at... We get him down to one. That's kind of funny. I mean, we do it, right? So we take three. We send this guy in for one. And then after we attack... Can we get there? No, 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 because we need to play this as well. Yeah, we send this in. Yeah, we don't have enough. Because this costs two, and then we only have one card left. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, so then this guy takes one, and we remove a threat from a scheme... Man, with, when Drang has his spear, it just busts the world wide open, doesn't it? Okay. Uh, I am then going to spend one, two, three to play Giant Snop. Play if you're in Giant mode. After you change this form, deal one damage to an enemy. Sorry. Uh, deal one damage to each minion and deal eight damage to an enemy. Uh, we have not actually changed forms on our own yet, so I am going to switch into Alter Ego mode, which allows us to heal the damage from Scott Lang. I'm going to quickly just look up indirect damage, as I always do when, I, when that comes up. Characters, okay. Alright, we're going to ready everybody. I'm going to keep this for the time being, because we do get to draw five cards. And as you see, there is a lot here. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay. So, this goes up here. After there are four, uh, we deal two indirect damage to each player. So we can take one, and then he can take one. It then removes all of these. And then this guy schemes for two. Resolve the charge up ability on the ship. And then this guy, after he schemes, so he's going to place two on this. And then after he schemes, we place an additional one. And then we get our evil card. While this minion is engaged with you, you cannot thwart the main scheme. Now there's tons of cool things we can do here, but if we just change into giant form... We heal two damage, and we deal one damage to an enemy. Which happens to be a headshot right between Drang's eyes. Sorry, buddy, it's time to go to the mausoleum. You're a corpse. Bye. I mean, we're superheroes. We don't kill anybody. We just we just say... I mean, Captain America shoots people with a gun, but, you know, he's a wartime hero. <laughs> now, you gotta kill people when you're a wartime hero. Okay, I, that was my first time against Drang. It seems like a really good... I, I think there's their first scenarios of a campaign are really good tester scenarios. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I'm glad I have another one on here that I can keep trying out. 
Uh, and I'm going to do more. I'm going to continue going through this one, maybe with Ant-Man, maybe with different heroes, but we're not doing campaign mode. We're not doing campaign mode for this. We're just going to try things out. I, I think I did things good. If I played anything wrong, it, it's bound to happen. Especially what with talking, you know, make sure the recording's going good, making sure my audio levels are good, all of that stuff. I'm bound to make something wrong. So if you noticed anything, please let me know in the comments. If you liked this video, uh, let me know as well, because your comments are what convinces me to play this awesome game more and more, and also release more content for you guys to watch. So thank you so much for watching, have a good one, and as always, GG's.